Hi friends, I'm Molly from Spoke and I'm so excited to welcome you into the Spoke family. In this installment of our Getting Started with Spoke demo series, we'll be covering our Project Hub. Spoke's Project Hub allows you to keep all of your beautiful designs and ideas organized. Let's get into creating a project and take a tour around the Hub. Let's create our first project by clicking New Project on the home screen. The Project Wizard will walk you through some additional steps to set you up for success. Start by naming your project and choose the privacy settings. Public means your project is visible to the Spoke community and eligible to be featured by Spoke. If you're on our Pro or Premium tier, you'll also see the client options, which allow you to add clients and send them your project to get approval and feedback. This step is where you can add any other users you want to collab with or add clients for a client project. Next, set your budget for the project. No worries, you can always edit this later. Upload any photos of your space or existing furniture you have. I'll add a before picture from my living room. You can also separately add any inspo photos you've saved while thinking about this project. The more inspo, the merrier. Finally, if there are any products you know you'll be using in this project, go ahead and add them here. Now that we've created our project, let's walk through each option on the Project Hub toolbar. Starting with the Thingdex. Think of the Thingdex as the index of all the things in your project. This is where you'll find all the products you've added, every inspo image you've used, and all of your visies and plans. By default, the Thingdex will show all things in their respective categories, but you can always filter by products to find specific products you've sourced, or by visies and plans to find your designs. From the Thingdex, you can easily add items to your shopping list, to a section, or move them to a different project using the buttons on each item. Save time by selecting multiple items at once and then adding them to a section. Keep in mind, the Thingdex is your private workspace. If you're planning to present this project to a client, your client can't see anything in the Thingdex until you've added it to a section. With that said, let's jump into sections. Use sections to organize all the items in your project. You can add things from anywhere directly to your section by using the plus button and choosing whatever it is you'd like to add. The eye icon will hide this section from presentation mode. Use this to hide any parts of your project you're not ready to share. In client projects specifically, you can decide exactly how you want your client to see the project. Change the view type to grid and then use the reorder button at the top to move things around. Once that's set, use the resize button on anything you want to feature or call attention to. Next, let's jump into the budget and shop list. This is where you can review and track all the things you need or want to buy for your project. Add items directly to your shop list using the plus button and easily remove anything you change your mind about using the trash can button. Use filters to easily locate everything in a certain category or to make a shopping list by brand. Use column selections to further customize the shop list to look exactly how you want. You can always use the print function to create a shareable PDF of your shop list based on those selections. For client projects, you'll see the cover option in the toolbar. This is where you can add an image that will be the first thing your client sees when they open the project. This is optional, but a great way to tell a project story. Add people is where you can share your project. From here, you can add collaborators to work on the project with you or clients so that they can share feedback. You can also email your project out or copy the direct link to share the presentation view. And finally, once you're all organized and ready to share your project with the world, Use presentation view to see a cleaned up version of your project based on the sections and selections you've made to make it pretty and presentable. Now that you know your way around the project hub, get to designing. Check out our floor planner and room busy trainings next.